イネさんイネさんリオさんあいまほらいてばはずき先生マイファーダー Stay back, Mio. For the last time, where is the mirror? I've no intention of telling you.
friends, those you love, close to you. Uh, no. Father. No! Yokosuka, 1986. Ryo Hazuki's fate is abruptly and irrevocably changed. When his father Iwao is murdered by a mysterious man named Lan Di, Ryo, young and inexperienced, is no match for him. Lan Di takes the dragon mirror, long hidden and guarded at the dojo. With his dying breath, Iwao imparts one last piece of wisdom to his son. Keep your loved ones close to you. Not yet able to fully appreciate the meaning behind those words, Ryo leaves the dojo behind and vows to take revenge against Lan Di. Ryo hunts for clues as to the whereabouts of his father's killer. letter arriving all too late warns of encroaching danger. Its contents point Ryo towards a certain Master Chun, who reveals the existence of a second mirror. Unraveling the mysteries buried beneath the family dojo leads Ro to this fabled Phoenix Mirror. However, this attracts a new threat. A crooked man named Chai stalks Ro in hopes of getting his hands on the mirror. Thanks to the Chen family, Ro manages to protect the mirror from Chai. He next decides to depart for Hong Kong in pursuit of Lan Di. More trouble, however, is already waiting for him before he leaves. From goons at the docks to a tough gang of bikers known as the Mad Angels. The evil that confronts him even moves to sink its teeth into his dear friend, Nozomi Harasaki. But Ryo's heart is driven, and with his comrades to aid him, he is able to overcome all obstacles in his path. The waves lapping against his home shore tell Ryo he must now leave Japan to continue his quest. Having chosen a difficult path, Ryo Hazuki remains undeterred as his fate calls to him. He arrives in Hong Kong. But in this unfamiliar land, who can he possibly trust? When his money is stolen and he is left destitute, he turns to the kindness of a young woman named Joy. He finds himself wandering the streets of Wan Chai to arrive at Mon Mo Temple. There he meets Shi Ying Hong, who claims to know something as to Lan Di's whereabouts. Sensing in Ro a thirst for bloody revenge, however, she refuses to talk. Instead, she attempts to dampen the flames of his rage through instruction, but her efforts prove in vain when Ryo meets with a man named Ren Wu Ying. Learning of the Phoenix Mirror, Ren's mind turns toward the riches that could be theirs. Ren reveals that Zhu Renda has sequestered himself within the Kowloon Walled City. But what waits for them in Kowloon is Donyo and the Yellowheads, a gang of brutal fighters in service to Lan Di. Powers Donyo, but Landi just manages to escape. 
Ryo learns that he has made for Guilin. So, Iwao was killed by Landi. How cruel can fate be? Please tell me, why did Landi kill my father? He was like you. Hmm? Vengeance. Vengeance? Landi avenged the death of his father, Sung Min Zhao. Zhao. Uh, that name! Landi's real name is Long Sun Zhao. He is the son of Sun Ming Zhao. Landi believed that Sun Ming Zhao was killed by your father, Iwao Hazuki. That can't be true! Father would never kill! I'd like to believe that myself, but I don't know what really happened. You don't? But I do know that Su Ming Zhao died, and that Iwao brought Zhao's mirrors to Japan. The mirrors? Hmm. Su Ming Zhao was my best friend. If he had lived, he would have become a legendary martial arts master. My father had this mirror. Oh, this is... There's no mistake. It's the mirror once owned by Su Ming Zhao. Landy took the dragon mirror when he came to kill my father. Is that so? Uh, I don't want to listen to these depressing stories. I want to know about this mirror here. What the hell is this, huh? When this phoenix mirror is paired with the dragon mirror, the two form a key. A key? Yes. A key to the treasures hidden away in order to revive the Jing Dynasty. <laughs> Did you hear that? Treasures, he said. I told you my hunches are always right. And how do we get this treasure, huh? Excuse me, could you turn out the lights and light the candle? Sure. You should see this. What's the show? This is... These seven lights indicate the location of the treasure. Where is that? A single mirror is not enough. What? Only when this is combined with the light pattern from the dragon mirror will we know. There's no way of finding out with only the phoenix mirror. There is a clue. You must go to Guilin. Guilin? There is a place where Zhao and Iwao trained when they were young. My father? Go to Bailu village in Guilin. The mirrors are made of phantom river stone found only in that village. The descendants of the one who made the mirrors live there too. You might find more information there. Bailu village. Landi is headed there as well. Landi has gone to Guilin? 
Departing from the warm company he found in Hong Kong, Ryo continues the pursuit alone. encounters a young lady named Shen Hua. This twist of fate will change everything for him and for her as well. What ancient mystery is locked away by the dragon and phoenix mirrors? What of Londi, whose hands are stained with the blood of Ryo's father?